kicking it up a couple of minutes late here. Well, about to, uh, 9.40 on your Friday night live uh, podcast. Friends, you know I had a very extreme one day. We were starting to get those closing blues out today. Oh my God, we got the sun cracking. We're up and running. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Let's get this top here. Amen for that. What is up, my friends? That's right, it's your Friday night church service. Well, church service, that's right. Because I'm bringing you the Word of God tonight. Uh, live, live stream network, friends. What is going on? Let me cue up this stuff here. We've got the live chat, I think. Uh, maybe, perhaps, uh, we might have a... Uh, a live chat thing going on here so let's get that uh, get that down ready to go here as we are we are live my friends finally back on the air have not been on in a while but you know this new job is just uh, awesome and uh, it uh, takes pretty much everything out of me but uh, Hey, I always got time for my friends. Let's uh, let's fix that suit up here as we get dressed up to go into the Word of God. Well, not too dressed up, friends. I just uh, want to look nice and presentable, you know, because uh, God has provided. He is our healer, our provider, our everything. Amen. It is live Friday night, friends. We are connected up with Twitter uh, and soon to be Facebook. That's right. I am getting on that air. Uh, gonna do some airtime on uh, Facebook here. Not t- too soon, but I'm working on the details and the upgrades. Amen, my friends. Uh, as I was up in the VIP lounge in the upper hill in the upper room, getting the the dinner going on tonight. Uh, I. Uh, you know, I've been so busy lately that I actually did it again. Forgot to get coffee. Did, forgot to make coffee. So we are drinking soda tonight, my friends. That's right. I'm kicking back, drinking. What is it? It's uh, some black cherry Coca-Cola uh, on ice tonight, friends. Just chilling out with the word of God. Checking the time. Uh, yep, that's, uh, that's typical of the way things go with this thing, friends. I, I tried to set it up for eight and then was, uh, still on the road at eight o'clock tonight. So I did not get a chance to get on the air live here, but hey, we're here. We are live. It's, uh, your, uh, Friday night message. I'm looking at the clock, friends. So don't think I'm looking at, uh, looking at something Strange here. It's just a clock on the wall. I just wanted to double check, make sure that we are kicking it, ready to go. Amen. As uh, we get into the message, friends, uh, I am so glad you guys are here. I know it's been a while. It seems that I don't get on here uh, during the weekdays anymore because I'm just so uh, wiped out. But the Holy Spirit is just pushing and thank god for the holy spirit uh leading and 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 just continuing in the message friends so i uh definitely appreciate that and we are going to be on for a little bit here hey we might even do a triple shot like i posted i never got a chance to really uh, do them triple shots because of the you know the new job and everything but uh hey we are blessed too blessed to be stressed my friends amen in prosperity the one that john ten ten talks about so much as we're going to get into the armor of god and uh we're also going to do the uh the sinner's prayers friends so go ahead and get your bibles let's go through the checklist my my precious friends for watching tonight uh, you got your big book of love. Uh, you got to have that Bible, friends. That is our life, our antidote, our uh, everything that we need, friends. We've got to have that Bible. Uh, all right. And 
of course, now, like I said, I, uh, I'm just drinking a soda tonight, not, uh, not doing the coffee. Had uh, a couple of them today, and uh, I'm good to go. Amen. So we're just going to chill out on some coffee. And then you got your beanbag chairs and your lava lamps, my friends. Yes, you do. And, uh, of course, your notebook tablets, your pens and papers, uh, all that good stuff, because I'm going to be throwing out uh, some notes, uh, some scriptures, uh, the Beatitudes, maybe a little shepherd's psalm. I got plenty for you, friends. I have got enough to give you. Amen. All right, so we got the live chat going on, and uh, let's let's see if we can get uh, get this message here. Uh, so uh, appreciate the following. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Amen. All right, let's get this Twitter on here as I remember to plug my phone in because it was about out, and uh, that is crazy. So. I so much love getting on here, friends. I, I did not get a chance to get on here this week. Uh, I think the last one, I don't remember a few, uh, some time ago, actually. All right, so let me get this Twitter out here. Uh, all right, and we are at live stream, my friends. That's right, connected. Uh, connected, actually, uh, we are connected with, uh, what is it? I can't remember that, uh, we got that one thing going on, that's slack.com, that's the kicker, that's the thing right there, the ticket, my precious friends, amen, all right, the Twitter is live. We're Facebooking it. That's right. We're doing a, uh, I try to do a triple shot here. Now, I may go over to the live stream or the YouTube thing, uh, you know, and uh, we uh, we may go on to Ustream as well uh, as I am in a, still in that process of upgrading that stuff because my friends, my friends, my friends, we have got to get God's message out. And that's right. So you got your checklist. You got your Bible. You got everything. Try to stay on focus here. And uh, as my phone is kind of acting up here. Uh, by the precious name of God, amen. And his precious son, Jesus Christ. All right, my friends. We made it. You are live with live stream connection. All right, let's get this kicking off here. Let's get this going. Should we say a little quick, quick prayer for our our friends out there? Uh, let's just do a bullet prayer, friends. And uh, if you want to close your eyes and bow your heads as we give thanks to our God. Amen. Dear Father, uh, we just come before you tonight to give you thanks, glory, and honor. For everything you've provided and uh, you know you are we know that you are the light and uh, that we need you uh, in this dark world right now everything is just uh, so bad and so messed up but through you we have everything and you are the light and uh, so I just want to lift up this podcast tonight uh, lift up the precious saints that are out there listening and watching and give this just give this to you right now father god and uh you know and just uh, give you all the glory honor praise in your precious son's name we give this uh to you right now in Jesus' name amen all right precious friends we are on the air and we are live, uh, chilling out, kicking back uh, in the Word of God on a Friday night, bringing you the Friday night church message. Amen. Who does church on a Friday night? This late at night? Uh, well, I guess, hey, the Holy Spirit has said, uh, you are going to do this. No doubt. All right. So as we are just relaxing, we're just hanging out, friends. Uh, we got our Bibles. We got the lava lamps going. We got the lights going. The the overheads are on, 
Uh, we got the perfect streaming as the mixer is just primo tonight. And uh, we are just going through the checklist here. I'm just looking at the monitor and uh, want to make sure, you know, hey, God's got this message. We have got to get this out, friends. Amen. Uh, as I'm just checking out, uh, we got this thing going on. We are live. Now, the uh, upgrades are going to start happening pretty soon here, friends. So just hold on. Stay tuned. Uh, as we are going to be uh, uh, adding some things. And, uh, of course, uh, we're going to be getting into uh, uh, adding Blog Talk and uh, Periscope. Now, I just heard about that the other day. So it's going to be all linked together with Facebook and Twitter and the Periscope YouTube channel. Uh, you know, it's going to be awesome, friends. God has provided so much and and I'm just ecstatic about getting this message out, being on the air, getting this message out. Well, okay. So we got our checklist done. We've got uh, everything just rolling right along as it should be. Clearly, the perfect streaming is in effect. We are here live. Let's give, uh, why don't we get into the message here, friends. Go ahead and grab your Bibles, if you will. Uh, as uh, we look at uh, Psalms 23, friends, right off the bat, right out of the gate, let's get into the shepherd's uh, psalm, as if we, if you will here, friends. Psalm 23, uh, reading tonight out of the King James Version, of course, I always do that. You know, I want to give you a little bit different perspective on stuff, and uh, amen, as I check my notes my gosh all right friends what do you say we look at shepherds uh the shepherds uh like i said the shepherd's psalm here and uh hopefully uh you guys got this going on here well okay let's get these glasses on so i can finally see here amen so i am going to give you two different versions of this that would be out of the king james and the new king james and that's all right. So Psalms 23. Uh, come on, Holy Spirit. Roll, roll, roll. You got it. Amen. So listen, I'm going to give you, I'm just going to go ahead and just, I'll give you the uh, New King James Version, friends, as we get into this. You know, I got to give you this. This, this, is, this is why we're here, friends. This is just, just to give you this message from a little bit different perspective as uh, I was asked that in an elevator interview you have 30 seconds to explain what you do Jessica Rhodes uh, asked me that in uh, one of the interviews man that was a good question I never really put that into perspective well I never thought about that and then I was like oh I was kind of at a loss for words I've never been asked that so there you go just to give you a little backfill on some stuff. Uh, so now I've got that elevator question written down. And I, uh, I, hey, I'm just trying to give you a, a little bit different perspective, give you God's word from a, uh, a different uh, point of view, I guess. So that would be my elevator question to answer 30 seconds or flat. There you go. Amen. Thank God for uh, the word here friends let's give you a couple let's get right into the bible if you go ahead and grab your bibles go ahead and get your your big book of love friends as we look at uh, psalms 23 the lord uh, the shepherd of his people out of the new king james version all right the lord is my shepherd and i shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures and he lies or leads me besides the still waters. He restores my soul. Meditate on these words, friends. They are good. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Amen. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff they comfort me. 
and you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As I, Hey, you know, I got to take notes, friends. I, I have to. That's just what I do. Even my notes got notes. I don't know how that probably is. A, that joke probably wore out pretty bad. So anyway, there you go. Just want to get this out here. So, out of the New King James, we are in the book of Psalms. Amen. And that is 23. So, mark that down in your Bibles, my friends. Amen. All right. So, that's right. <clears throat> All right, let's get them frogs out of there and let's get into the word here, my friends. You know, I, uh, I've i been working in the yard uh, doing some landscaping and uh, I've been like uh, breathing in dirt and paint all week. And uh, I can tell that is part of the reason why I've been choking. So, uh, you know... I, just give you, hey, you know how transparent I am, friends? I have been with you for 200 episodes. How cool is that? You guys made that possible. Well, the Holy Spirit, of course, because, you know, you try to go against the Holy Spirit, it does not work well. Amen. So, all right, let's see. Well, the Spirit just told me to read uh, Psalms 24. There's some precious saint, some soul out there that needs to hear these words. So the king of glory and his kingdom. The earth is the Lord's, and it is all fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord. I'm speaking to somebody. I know there's somebody out there with this prayer request here. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who, who seek him, who seek your face. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in, in battle. Uh, lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift up your everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of Hosts. He is the King of Glory. Amen. Wow. That was cool. All right. And we're going to add 24, of course. Amen. So there you go. You get a double shot of Psalms. You know, this is, this is a really good book. The four books. Uh, of course, of course, the Holy Spirit just quickened me. He said, yeah, guess what? Keep going. All right, there's somebody that needs to hear this. Amen. How about uh, Psalms 26, my friends? Get that in your uh, binders here, in your notes. And that is good. The Spirit is just having his way. Amen. So Psalms 26, a prayer for divine scrutiny and redemption. <clears throat> Amen. Well, I knew that was coming. So I haven't had a black cherry cola in such a long time. They're so good. That is excellent. All right. Brothers and sisters, what is going on? We are hanging out having church on a friday night that is cool who does that 
I keep asking that myself every time. Who does church all this time? All this, hey, I do. Because the Holy Spirit said, I don't care if you're tired. Well, you know, I didn't really say like, whole, you know, I don't care. But he did say, you are uh, restored in, 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 in the Spirit's help. And uh, you are need you need to read this message. You need to get this message out. Amen. There you go. I know sometimes it don't make a whole lot of sense, but guess what? The spirit it is Holy Spirit led, friends. This is the calling that I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, I I see the numbers. I see how far it's jumped up. Uh, and I really do, from the bottom of my heart, thank each and every one of you that are watching these. I, I know some of them might get boring, but uh, I am just told by the Spirit to keep going, to keep this message out. This is God's Word. Amen. Uh, no matter what the little pot shots, all the comments, hey, you know, I'm in good company, like I said before. Uh, you remember Jesus, my friends? what he went through so this is the least i am uh this is the least i i can do spend time in god's word reading the bible sharing this message with you guys so uh you know hey i i gotta get this message out friends I, it's just like an overwhelming uh awesome awesome uh responsibility and calling to be able to minister and preach this word out to you guys so i totally appreciate it every night that i get a chance to get on the air here and and speak god's word amen all right let's get into the word minister would you stop talking and start reading the bible would you we're trying to learn a little bit here tonight amen uh a prayer for divine scrutiny and redemption vindicate me O lord for i have walked in my integrity, I've also trusted in the Lord. I shall not slip. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my mind and my heart. For your loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have uh, walked in your truth. I have not sat with adulterous, adulterous mortals, nor will I go in with hypocrites. I have hated the assembly of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, so I shall go about your altar. Uh, o Lord, uh, that uh, I may proclaim with a voice of thanksgiving. Tell me of your wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Do not gather my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands is a sinister scheme. And whose right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me and merciful to, be merciful to me. My foot stands in an even place. In the congregations, I will bless the Lord. Amen. That is such good, powerful words here, friends. Amen. As we get this word. But hey, let's go back real quick here. Uh, out of the King James Version, my friends, as, as we just get right straight into the Word. we got to stay in that Word, friends. All right. So I think I can read this better here because this book is huge, and it's like right off the side here. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides still waters. Amen. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That's right. For thou art with me. The rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. 
I just read that, but I'm going to go right through it again. Uh, somebody, I just got quickened again. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Isn't that, that good? That's some good stuff, friends. Well, you already know Matthew 6, uh, what, 3 and 12, the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Amen. Blessed are are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Or yeah, is that see God? There we go. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sakes, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile revile you, and persecute you, and ye shall. And say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Now pay attention to that one, friends. That one is uh, a key verse right there, friends. I have that marked down. Uh, that is uh, that is uh, really like what a lot of us have gone through or are going through. Uh, we are persecuted for the elect's sake. Amen. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for... Great is our reward in heaven for so persecuted uh, they, the prophets, which were before you. Amen. Well, that came out of the King James Version. I got a great big one. It's so cool. I love it. It uh, it uh, it's, takes a lot of room, you know, and it uh, doesn't always want to stay still as I... I used the clips again. Uh, amen. All right. There we go. So let's look up that one. Well, you know right where Psalms 1 is at. Come on, friends. You get your Bibles again. Have you got them handy? Don't use them as a stepping stool. And for gosh sakes, don't put... It's not a beer coaster, friends. You, you know that. All right. Oh, my gosh, friends. I'm getting tired. But guess what? I am not going to work. All right, so Psalms 1, in book 1, friends. Amen. All right, so you know how I do? You know what I do, friends? I've been a million times here. I take notes. Amen. Well, that's what I got to do. I got a new Bible. I, I, you know, I'm always out snooping around shopping for Bibles. And uh, I found one that's just precious to me. So, well, all right. So, book one, Psalms one, the way of the righteous and the end of the ungodly. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the paths of sinners, nor sits in the seats of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. In his law, he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither. And whatever he does shall prosper. Amen. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Well, there you go. I'm just getting the message here. I just want to make sure you guys get all this stuff. Uh, Loads and loads of information, friends. All right. All right, let's put on the armor of God, friends, shall we? Let's uh, let's get this armor on. Let's go to Ephesians 6.10 uh, through uh, 18, adding on, of course, 19 and 20. Now, I want to show, you guys know, 
all about this, what's going on here, okay? Uh, we're on Rabble TV, working on that. He's got that beta testing thing going on. I got to definitely got to put that in the in the to-do list. Uh, we're at uh, live stream, Ustream TV, Block Talk Radio, YouTube, of course, and connected with Spreaker dot com which is a podcast uh, catcher now you can go and listen to all the audio uh, but I'm in the process of upgrading everything now all the sites all the stations are going to be connected together I'm still working on that but I, I'm targeting July now and then I just heard of Periscope so I uh, it's it's happening friends the movement is happening we are going to get this on I'm going to get this video I'm going to do a live video uh, camera connected with this as I upgrade the studio uh, and oh my gosh uh, I'm still coughing out dirt still uh, still cleaning dirt out of my eyes and stuff and uh, you know like I said I was uh, doing some landscaping and uh, painting all week and putting up bark and rock and having a blast operating in the gifts of God amen so there you go those are the channels that we're on uh, also, friends, you know we've been trying to uh, get this updated uh, scheduling set up, but I have not been able to get on there during the weekdays that much. So uh, the scheduling, we're looking at live stream Tuesday, Wednesday, and Fridays at about 8 to 9.30. I did not get on there today at that time, obviously, as you can tell. It was a little bit later, 9.30, 9.40, something like that. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, um we're going to hit about five. Uh, that's going to be good. And then, of course, going and doing some live stuff over at YouTube channel, friends. Uh, Monday and Thursday at 930, uh, Tuesday and Friday at 10, and Saturdays and Sundays on the weekends. We're going to go live at uh, the YouTube channel, Life Grace Ministries. Uh, speak Life, of course, uh, 730. Amen. And then jumping over to uh, Ustream TV, Wednesdays about 10, Fridays at about 11.45, Saturdays and Sundays about 9.30. Precious saints, we have got this message out. We got it covered. Blog Talk Radio, getting back on there sometime again. I don't know when. I'm just praying on that one. Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6.30 to 7. Saturdays and Sundays, the weekends are going to be about 3 to 3 30 now when i do the upgrades i'm going to do an hour an hour friends can you believe that it's going to be an hour on the radio and of course you know we're still working on the rabble tv so stay tuned hold on and you'll be all right my friends amen all right well let's get into some uh podcasts uh now uh, let's uh, let's say the support team that is building this ministry uh, as we support each other. Uh, my brother Craig Day over at uh, Uniting Christian Brotherhood Inner Peace One Ministries. Holy cow, that's a mouthful. But it covers a lot of bases, friends. If we pray in agreement, amen. Uh, hey, we're working on it. He is, he's getting there, friends. Uh, YouTube, Google Hangouts, a live stream, Rabble TV, Ustream TV, Blog Talk Radio, MyCBN, ULC Net Ministers Network, covering the basis of getting this message out. You're going to love it, friends. It'll bring you to your knees and put tears of joy in your eyeballs or in your eyes, I guess. You know, you know what, you know what I'm saying. All right. Amen. Speaking the message, friends. Check it out. Coming soon. All right. If you're local, you know what's going on. Coffers Christian Bookstore, uh, bringing you uh, the the needs that you you know your your supplies. Uh, say hey to Doug and his staff. Amen. Also, because you know, friends, you do know this. God is our supplier, and He supplies all our needs. That was cool. I just thought that just came to me and I had to write that down. Amen. Well, we're going regional, friends. Let's travel down to Chicago or over to Chicago to the Windy City with my friend Neil Render TV. Check it out, friends. Add and subscribe and like and uh, say, hey, I heard you from Brother Rick. He gave you a message. Amen. 
Uh, the good minister is giving this message out, friends. Check this out. YouTube, my CBN, Facebook, and Instagram. And yes, I do have an Instagram. I really do. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you're into the radio, hey, let's let's take a little trip down to Ennis, Texas, my friends, with K195.5 FM, uh, the power radio with your host, J. David Ford, and, of course, his wife. Rose, check it out, Kawa. It is the power station radio. Amen. Let's uh, well, let's take a little trip over to New Zealand as we uh, visit our good pastor Rodney and his wife Jean Francis at the Gospel Faith Messenger. What Messenger Ministry? Good grief, really. That's right, all the way out in New Zealand, friends. Now let's bring it back to Massachusetts with Paula Cross at the Kingdom Faith International Ministries as I was going into the Elijah uh, anointing. And I just got called, and boom, there it was. That was awesome. Uh, Of course, now I got the book. I'm still reading it. I have not gotten through it yet because I've been so busy. Uh, Our good friend Jessica Rhodes, Rhodes to Success, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Yes, there it is. Wham! With the podcast advisor. It's excellent. Uh, Amy Schmidhauer, our good friend Amy, over at YouTube and Facebook, because you got to vlog like a boss, friends. Check it out. Heather Havenwood down at YouTube, and of course in Austin, Texas, friends. Amen. All right, well, let's continue in our prayers. Friends, if you lift up our friends, uh, my personal friends here, you want to lift them up. They are. You can find them over at uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, CBN. Uh, go in. Would you say a prayer for them and to keep them up in your Just lift them up, my, my precious friends. Would you lift them up? Uh, my friend Andrea in New York, uh, uh, hey, we are praying. We are keeping you in our thoughts. We are not giving up on you. Uh, my good friend uh, Sophie in Switzerland, we are praying. My precious friend over at my CBN, uh, all my all and all my friends, and all the social media sites that I've got. I, I counted. I think last time was about thirty-two. Uh, yes, I do maintain those uh, at least a few days a week. So if you leave a message, if you leave a prayer request, friends, don't worry about it. Go ahead and leave it on there. I'll get back to you. I, I really will. I'll take the time because hey, that's what I'm called for. <coughs> Amen. There's that cough again. All right. And, of course, my friend Laura over on Facebook praying for you uh and everybody connected with my family my friends my my sons praying and keeping you in my thoughts and prayers not giving up no matter what it looks like as you go into your flesh you got to retract yourself and pull yourself back it's a supernatural healing friends and that's what i'm talking about god's grace mercy and love of course you know we're talking about that grace a lot uh uh, unmerited, unearned, and undeserved. It's a free gift of God. Amen. Who doesn't want free? Uh, I, I don't know anybody that doesn't. But uh, through his uh, son's precious blood. Hey, do I have any blood-washed friends here? Uh, blood-washed in the in the washed blood of Christ. Amen. That's what I was talking about. That's what I'm saying, friends. Amen. Blessed are the righteous. Or blessed are the righteous. There you go. Either way, there you go. You have it. Hey, it's time to suit up, friends. Let's go into the King James Version of uh, Ephesians 6, 10, and 18. If you get your Bibles, power up, my friends. Finally, my brethren and my sisters. No, I haven't forgotten about you, ladies. I have not forgotten about you. Be strong. What do you got to do, friends? You gotta be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God and you be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers, 
against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand there, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Above all, I just read that. That was verse 16. Check it out. See, I thought I, I, I would try to catch you guys, see if you're sleeping here. All right. Uh, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Praying always with prayer and, and all with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Amen. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. Man, for that. There we go, friends. All right. Somebody's in a hurry. I don't know if you heard that, uh, friends. But uh, let's see if I can get this. All right. There we go. As I get my keyboard out of the way, friends, I, I've got that extra keyboard uh, so I can type messages and stuff. That's right. All right. Uh, sinner's prayer of salvation, friends. Go ahead and say this with me, if you will. Go ahead. Hey, uh, if you accept Christ into your hearts, friends, that's what I, I want to get this out to you. Uh, dear Jesus, uh, I know that I am a sinner, and I thank you for dying on the cross. Just think about these words, friends. Just, just meditate on these words and pray on these and meditate on these words. How precious is this? Dear Jesus, just talk to him. That's all you got to do. Just talk to him. I know that I am a sinner. And I thank you for dying on the cross for me. And I confess with my mouth. And I believe you are the Lord and that God raised you from the dead. Forgive me of my sins, which he already has past, present, and future is already wiped away. Wash my heart clean and come and live in my heart. Be the Lord of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and teach me to walk with you the rest of my life. Amen. And I confess that I'm a sinner and I have prayed forgiving all those who have sinned against me and I ask for strength from the Lord to help me follow a path and lead others by the will of God. Amen. Romans 10, 9, 21, friends. Keep it going here. All right. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believe on him shall not be ashamed for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon the precious name of Jesus Christ amen they shall be saved how then shall they call on him if they have not believed and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have all not obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Who hath believed our report? So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes. Verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words into the ends of the world. 
But I say, did not Israel know, first Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy that are no people, and by the foolish nation I will anger you. But uh, Isaiah is very bold, and he saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel he saith all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient, gainsaying people. Amen. All right, friends. If you have said that prayer, you have accepted Christ in your hearts, uh, please feel free to email me anytime. You have a 31 uh, uh, sites to add me on to and uh, five live, four, four live podcast sites, I'd say, uh, as I'm always on there. Uh, you know, I'm not every single second of every day. I, I would love to if, if there was more time allotted. But uh, you know where my main channels are, friends. Go ahead and hit me up there. Email me uh, at the official email site, lifegraceministry60 at gmail.com. That's right. That is the official email contact. You guys have that information there. And uh, so welcome to the precious uh, family of God. Amen. Jesus loves you. Amen. And I was uh, looking at my friends, what he that's posted up here. Uh, my friend uh, has this that he just passes out stuff. It's a really good message here. Um, I love you. I love you, good or bad, no strings attached. I know what I want to do for you, and I accept you. I accept you just as you are, and I love you just as you are. Believe this. I care for you. I care about each big or little thing that happens to you, and I love and accept you. I care for you. I care for you, and I love you, and I want to forgive you. I want to forgive you if you ask me, and my forgiveness is complete. Let me forgive you. I carried it all for you on the cross. Amen. Believe this. It is true. You know, decision time, friends. Come on, you guys got to make a decision here. You know how much I love you, and you can have a personal relationship. See, that's the difference. Personal relationship with me. You can, uh, like a ton of religion. Just because you carry a Bible, and you can quote a few scriptures, precious friends, it does not make you saved. It doesn't make you uh, holier than everybody else. It just means that you can read the Bible and you know a few scriptures. Good for you. Um, but uh, it, it is a deeper relationship with, uh, with Christ, friends. And that is the difference. Do you have a personal relationship with Christ? Are you walking in the Spirit? That is so, uh, so much difference, friends. So much of a difference. There is a difference between a religion and a relationship with Christ. Amen. That's what I'm trying to get out here. That's what I'm trying to trying to tell you. There is a difference. Amen. So that's my calling, and that is what I'm supposed to be doing here. So, all right. So that is uh, from him, from my friend, and uh, he put that together. And we already did that sinner's prayer of salvation, friends. Amen. So there you go. You're in the know, still in the know, all these episodes later. Uh, Be inspired by God, friends. Amen. All right. Well, hey, let's get into the... uh, I've got more word for you, like I always do here. Uh, We're going to wind it down about another 15 minutes or so. Uh, Deuteronomy 31, 6 and 8. Be strong and courageous, precious friends. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. Uh, the, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And do not be afraid. And do not be discouraged. Surrender yourselves completely to the Lord, friends. Apply God's promises to your everyday life. Trust Him. Uh, we're talking about God here. We're not talking about uh, 
movies or uh, footballs or or uh, baseball or racing and stuff like that. We're talking about our precious Father, uh, God, no matter what comes your way. Receive what God has already provided. Amen. Be encouraged to keep your faith in God no matter what obstacles you face. He will turn your situations around. Amen. He does and always will. When we build our lives in the truth of God's word, we're building on an eternal foundation that cannot be destroyed. Possess the promise. God's word says it is his will to heal us and through Jesus' death on Calvary and resurrection, the price for sin has been paid. Amen. And the sickness has been borne away. As you walk with God, friends, Take time every day to thank him for the gift of healing that he has given us through Jesus Christ to know that like any other gift, it is ours freely. Grace is what we're talking about. All we have to do is accept it. How cool is that? And by faith, possess the healing God has already promised uh, in Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. And know what belongs to you. God doesn't wonder whether it is his will that we be healed. He wants us to know what his word says about it in Christ because we're already healed. By his stripes, amen, and we let his word build up our faith for healing whenever we need it. Trust God with all your hearts, friends, amen. Romans 8, 17. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we uh, are the children of God and the children then heirs with Christ. And we indeed suffer with him that we be also glorified together. Stand fast, stand firm in the word and God uh, for uh, uh, what word of God always. Amen. I know that word. I don't know why I stumbled on that. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Remember a, a old disciple? We've got First John five, thirteen through 15. These things I have written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, and this is the confidence that we have in him. And if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him, God's word will not fail us, friends. He will not refuse to give up if we'll not refuse to give up, keep on standing on the rock of God's word. And it won't let you down. God's word will not fail us. It is important for us to realize that after we've prayed, an apparent delay in the answer is not, or not hearing God's voice right away does not mean help isn't on the way. That is so true. Philippians 4, 1 through 13, out of the King James, of course. Therefore, my beloved and longed for brethren, my joy and my crown. So stand fast in the Lord, beloved. I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labor with the gospel and with Clement, also with others, my fellow laborers, whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and your minds through Jesus Christ. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again. Did you catch that right there, friends? Flourished again. Wherein ye were also careful, but we, or ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want. For I have learned in whatsoever state I am that there with 
to be content. I know both how to be abased and know how to be abound or how to abound. Everywhere in all things, I'm instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthen or strengtheneth me. How cool is that? Ephesians 4, 1, walk in a manner worthy of the calling which you have been called. Are you doing that, friends? Are you walking in the manner of which you have been called? All right, looks like we've got about maybe another five minutes, friends. Uh, I want to get this out and... Oh, what do you know? I got a little visitor here hanging out. Looks like a little spider crawling on my notes here, friends. Well, I squashed him with love in my heart. Uh, I did not want a spider creeping around in my uh, my notes here. So there you go, live on the air. That's what happens. Uh, just the way it is. Amen. All right. Lots of notes. Lots of information. Uh, well, you know Isaiah, right? Fifty-four, seventeen. No weapon formed against you in judgment, uh, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and the righteousness is from me, saith the Lord. Okay, James 4, 7. God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit yourselves. Submit to God. That's what it says. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And why, you ask again, why, friends? Because he is afraid of the greater one that is in us. Same as First Peter. Amen. Amen. That's true. That is true. All right. Lots and lots of notes, friends. I love it. All right, my family. It looks like, uh, let's see if I can get this without tripping up on my stuff here. Uh, you know, I got so much. I didn't know where to start. Oh, yeah, I did want to mention this. Now, I've gone into this before. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. All right. We, uh, we've we been reading now. Uh, I started doing the series on the how to find God. Of the New Testament, living water for those who thirst for Christ. Hey, are you thirsty, friends? I got plenty for you. It'll fill your soul. Amen. Talking about uh, persist or uh, perseverance. Uh, this goes out to some friends of mine that are struggling with this, friends. And this is what I'm here for. Hey, I'm not a stranger. I'm your friend. Just trying to get this message out. I'm just a voice in the wilderness uh, calling out. Amen. So here we go. I'm just going to read this right out here. There will be times in your Christian walk when you feel emotionally down. You may think that God has forgotten about you. How many times, friends, do we go through this? See, this is on point. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This all makes total sense. That God has forgotten about you. He will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Or you might become discouraged as you see others who have professed faith in Christ, in Jesus Christ, lose interest in spiritual things and fall away. You may begin to wonder whether you are next on the devil's hit list. But God will not allow you to be hit with more. Now, are you catching this, friends? Check this out. He will not allow you to be hit with more than you can handle spiritually. In fact, it is during times of trouble that you will actually be strengthened and not weakened. I, I hope you got that, friends. I, I really do. Uh, because this is on point. It is so cool. I, I go through this meditation on this as much as possible as we are talking about perseverance friends as I you know what I do you know I got to write this down uh, so that's a little bit of homework I got 
uh, as you read your Bible, uh, you will come across words like endurance and perseverance, right? You'll hear that a lot. Those words are often used when the Bible compares the Christian life to a race. These words are often used. The Christian life, like I said, uh, the race referred to is a marathon, not a 50-yard dash, because the Christian life is a long-distance run, and you will need to pace yourself, friends. Hear the words to persevere, and most of all, to finish the race. Look up the following passages, friends. Here's some homework assignment for you for the weekend. Amen. The des to describe how and why you need to per uh, to pers persevere through the inevitable struggles of life. Perseverance in uh, produces results as you steadily grow in your understanding of God's words and apply it to your life. You will win others to the Lord. If you look at uh, Luke 8.15, life's trials will make you stronger. You shouldn't view difficulties as obstacles to your faith, but as opportunities for spiritual growth. And look at James 1, 2, and 4. Christ endured great pain for us, friends. He did. He suffered a lot. And so the least we could do is spend time in the Word. Amen. Go to church and, and, and just uh, fellowship with the saints. Amen. Uh, so Christ endured great pain for us. Jesus modeled the ultimate endurance so they would be discouraged or encouraged to keep our faith strong in the race of life. In Hebrews 12, 1, 3, uh, 1 through 3, God honors those who uh, persevere. A wholehearted commitment to God will enable you to finish well with your faith intact in 2 Timothy 4, 7 and 8. Amen. All right, so there you go, friends. That is the message for the night, friend. Hey, it is the weekend. I've got uh, some massive shows coming tomorrow, uh, and yes, we will be in it. Amen. Getting the word out. All right, that's gonna. I think that's uh, that's gonna wrap it up. We're just gonna go into meditation tonight. We're gonna uh, get a little food here. Uh, I have not eaten yet. I believe since about uh, 12.40 this afternoon is a long, long day. But, hey, that's the calling. I'm up for the task. God has given me uh, a precious opportunity to preach and minister to you, uh, the friends, uh, the family, and the precious saints out there that are watching and viewing. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, you know, this isn't all about me. Uh, no matter how tired I get, it, it's not about me. It, it's about giving back uh, from what I have learned, what I have taught by my awesome pastors. The the uh, the information that I have is too good to be kept to myself. I have to get this out, and that's what I'm doing. That's the calling. Uh, so you know, you're in the know. You're still in the know, and nothing changed. Uh, I appreciate this uh, so much. All right, friends, that is going to wind it up. It is the weekend, and this is your Friday night church service. Glad you guys are jumping in here for me and checking it out, hanging out. Uh, we are done. I will see you uh, tomorrow. Uh, we are into the weekend. I've got uh, two shows scheduled uh, back on here again. We'll see how things go. Just take it easy. And uh, rest up. That's right. We're going to just rest up tonight and uh, get back on the air tomorrow. Get these other shots out, to, uh, these triple shots uh, of the message. Amen. That is so true. It is. So my good friend, Pastor Oni in Japan, uh, Konnichiwa, Domo Arigato. That's right. Uh, all you guys, I appreciate that so much. Uh, I'm glad... That you guys have tuned in, and my cosmic princess. Uh, I can't wait to hear how you're doing. Uh, amen. And all, of course, all my precious friends over at Facebook, Twitter, all Instagram, all that stuff. All the usual suspects of good stuff. All right, that is going to do it. I think I'm winding down about an hour and five minutes. Uh, it is late, friends. My days are already, like I said, and I'm not, trust me, I'm not complaining. I am so grateful. Uh, it gives uh, uh, God's 
has provided so much. And I just uh, am appreciative, humbled, and uh, ready to be uh, his messenger. All right, friends, that is going to do it. Uh, Minister Preacher Rick Crowley here live, Life Grace Ministries podcast uh, on the air. We'll uh, be back for the weekend. Check out the uh, other uh, usual suspects of information for you, my precious friends. A- amen. Just just thanking God for an opportunity uh, to come on the air, get this message out, uh, give a little a sermon, if you will, give a little message, if you will, and uh, throw his word out there, friends. Stay in the word. It's the weekend. Stay safe, my friends, and uh, armor up with the armor of God. That's right. Stay uh, in his uh, stay in his word, friends. And I just pray again for you guys. Uh, just hey, don't get tricked by the lies of the enemy. Stay in the word. All right, my friends, that'll do it. That's going to be a wrap. Uh, Life Grace Ministries, Minister Preacher Rick Alley here live on the air. I, I'm coming back. It's the weekend. I'm going to be hanging out with you, getting this word out. I'll talk to you soon. God bless you. Amen, because he already has. Amen. That's it. I'll see you later. <laughs>